Welcome everyone and welcome to today's video. And today we have a first look for you at the Hockenheim ring in VR in the Formula 3 car. What best way to test this new track out? Absolutely love the Hockenheim ring. I love it in real life. It throws up for some real great racing, hence that race we had a couple of years back in Formula 1 in the rain. It really throws up some great races once for the ages and hopefully it will do the same within sim racing and i racing in particular now i'm a bit surprised it's taken a look this long to get the track on the sim uh, because it is a well-known track it's been a staple of many series or real world series uh, for some time so i would have thought it's something that they would have put in sooner but let's put that to the side and here we are it's finally here so what better way to check it out? As I said, in Formula 3, we're going to jump into an AI race. I've got the AI set to varying difficulties, so we should have some good racing, some good overtakes, some good defending, Gem and get a general feel of how this car feels on this track. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy it too. So lo and behold, let's head into it. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Feel free to join my Discord, which is in the link in the description below. Turn those notifications on and enjoy. All right, guys, let's have a look Stay calm, at focus. Hockenheim, shall we? F3 racing. Go, 10 minutes remaining, 10 minutes. Why not? With the AI. You're in the middle, clear left, clear all Whoa. around. AI are crazy, man. Left side. He's still there. Clear left. Car left. Oh, this corner is going to be an absolute nightmare, isn't it? Still there. In F3. Hold your line. In the officials. Still there. Still there. Proper drafting it around still here. There. This is where all the carnage is going to happen. Clear left. Clear left. Car left. All the way down into first. Still there. You guys decided to take a detour Clear over left. the grass. Left side. Oh, we had a little nudge there. Still there. So we have got damage turned off. He's still there. Clear left. For the sake of actually being able to film the video. On your right. Let's stick it around the outside here. Oh, yes, we are. Still there. Right side's clear. Car right. I found Power the runoffs here are quite generous in regards to their off Still tracks. There. Clear right. Can really use all of the surface. Of course, if you go extremely wide, then you do get an off track. But those green surfaces there, those green runoffs, B22. They are to be used. Not so there. Left side. Still there. Second gear around here. He's still there. Clear left. Flat all the way through, so I am using the Interlagos setup. Thought well, that's a pretty similar kind of track layout where it has obviously its fast, it's fast it's sections, it's long straights. It's still there, you're in the middle, three wide. Still there. And then, it's of course, it's got its slow, nice twisty moment. sections where a bit more downforce is required. Car left. Seems to be working all right. Feels good. Wide right there. On your oh, right. over the sausage curb. Not good. Right side's clear. Oh, cut my nose off. I don't know. Right. Clear right. Through the stadium. I do like this track. 
always been a fan just done and fan of Formula One games and just other racing games in general over the years. Oh, so there's, see, there you go, there's the off track. You do Five really have to go quite wide there. Right side. Hold your line. Clear right. Car right. Clear right. He didn't expect me to come back there, did he? Car left. Still there. See Clear ya. Left. That hairpin is just going to be an absolute chaos for crashes. Hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. Car right. Well, not quite got the downforce there. Still there. Right side's clear. Oh, he spun on it, we're in the gravel, oh no. We just cut the track. So easy to do, terrible rejoin, but oh well. The leader has just done a 134. It's very two. easy to do in the stadium section, even though it's Five slow. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. We're halfway home. We're okay slow on couple fuel. of corners. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 2.2 seconds. 23rd place. 23rd? Places did I lose there? But yeah, this is a great track. It's going to make for great racing in any any car. So in regards to graphics, especially in VR, it's very similar to the Nurburgring, where you may have to just reduce your event settings or grandstands. Because there are quite a lot of them, obviously you've got the stadium section. And I have experienced some flickers. So if you're experiencing that or if you get a bit of FPS drop, just turn your grandstands down and your event details down. You should see a performance boost. Stick up the inside there. No, not got enough. Car right. Clear right. Ooh, you cheeky little bugger. Come on, push like a bastard. We'll get this. AI grip. AI grip. So I'm putting that down too. Need to be a little bit more committed for that last corner. 24. Push now. The guy behind is catching. The guy ahead has just done a 133.6. Let's get him in the draft. Just got a feeling with the with how much steering input you have to put in there as well. You're going to see lots of spinners. People get on, try and get on the throttle too early in a lot of cars to get the run down this long straight. On your right. Into the hairpin and people are just going to spin it. Still there. Clear right. Car right. Oh, yeah, don't He's try still there. Drive in the side of me. Hold your line. Still there. Clear right. Left side. Still there. Oh, you are right. Still oh, there. watch it, AI. Watch it. Still there. Clear left. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. The leader has just done a 133.6. Oh, this guy's right on my nose. Or my ass. 
That lap was a 133.9. Good lap. That's your quickest so far. I think it's going to be a brave man who decides to take, make an overtake into the first corner as well. It's definitely not one that really goes side by side through. Someone will have to yield, otherwise you're just going to end up having a crash, I think, or coming together. Bit of late moving there from the AI. What's going on here? You can't do that. You can't move in the breaky zone. He's feeling the pressure, he hit the sausage curb, but he's going defensive. Car right, right side's clear. Little pit there, I did try and chance it. They Leader do seem to have very good grip for that corner. Last lap, can we hold off Jose? Last lap. That last lap was a 134.1. Yeah, he thought better of it. But he's going to have to draft here. Car right. Oh, he sent it. Hold your line. Still there. Come on then. Still there. He's still there. Clear right. I've uh, got a bit more than him. Both. I, I must admit, I am very liking these AI. They seem to be. I've got a, a very different performance on. Clear left. Some of them are like lower than others. There's a range of their difficulty. They seem to be acting quite well and realistic. Definitely come Car on, Rich. Oh, wow, he's in it. Car left. Still there. Clear left. Oh, is he trying to cut right back? Side. Clear right. Yeah, I weren't having that. I weren't having the AI send it. On me on the last lap. B24. Okay, we're done. But there we go. Last little race with the AI. Around Hockenheim. What a track this is. We are going to have some really good races around here. I do like it a lot. It's always throwing up some good racing in real life, too. And I must admit, the AI was very enjoyable there. If anyone is uh, wondering how the AI performs, that, that was good. I think I had a range of 75% to 100. And so. Some of them probably obviously a lot quicker. Some of them were a lot slower, as you can see, like in the straights. I think that's kind of where they made up. I made up for it in particular. But I thoroughly enjoyed that. So if you're looking to get some race practice without actually jumping into an official race, highly recommend using the AI and just playing around with the difficulty settings. Um, having varied settings is good, varying difficulty, having a range because you get the experience of not just being overtaken, but obviously getting to overtake and getting to defend too. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Really looking forward to jumping on this track in a number of cars, GT3, LMP2, DTE, etc. And yeah, having some proper races. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you for the next one.